Home remedies and alternatives to over-the-counter products are all the rage these days. For example, did you know that baking soda can be used as a natural deodorant? However, some natural alternatives to traditional drugstore products have been proven more useful than others. And in some cases, certain home remedies may prove too good to be true at best and actively harmful to certain parts of your body at worst. One somewhat controversial homemade concoction is a mixture of baking soda and lemon juice, which has been suggested to perform a variety of functions such as whitening teeth, treating acne, and even reducing the appearance of scar tissue. But is this homegrown ointment really all it's cracked up to be, or is it simply just another fad that's best left ignored? Today, that's what we intend to find out. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to Bestie and ring the notification bell to ensure that you never miss out on our daily videos and content. Also, be sure to show your love for the channel by watching this video all the way through to the end. While many people insist that a combination of baking soda and lemon juice will be sure to cure what ails you, other people are a bit more skeptical when it comes to the effectiveness of this homegrown mixture's ability to benefit your teeth and skin. In fact, some of these skeptics have even made the claim that using baking soda and lemon juice may in fact be actively harmful to those particular parts of your body. So that begs the question, which one of these claims is the actual truth? In order to get to the bottom of this case, a number of scientific studies have been conducted in order to monitor the cosmetic effects of both baking soda and lemon juice to see just how helpful or harmful this combination truly is. The first thing to understand about the effects of lemon juice and baking soda together is the difference between acids and bases in chemistry, as well as how they play off of each other when combined. To determine just how acidic or basic a substance is, scientists use what's known as the pH scale, which is graded from 1 to 14. The lower a substance falls on the pH scale, the more acidic it is. While a higher number would mean that the substance is more basic, all of this might seem a bit arbitrary, but we guarantee that this information will be important as we break things down into further detail. For now, just remember that lemon juice is an acid and baking soda is a base. One of the major claims that people make about the baking soda lemon juice combo is that these two ingredients together are supposedly effective at whitening teeth and removing stains left behind by things such as wine, coffee, and tobacco. So, what does science have to say regarding this claim? Well, it seems as though people who suggest this might at least be half right. On its own, baking soda has proven to be highly effective at removing plaque and making your teeth whiter. When you add lemon juice to the mix, however, that's when things start to get a little bit dicier. As we mentioned before, Lemon juice is highly acidic according to the pH scale. It's so acidic, in fact, that studies have shown that lemon juice may actually eat away the protective layer of enamel that covers your tooth. And unlike other parts of your body, such as skin and fingernails, enamel never grows back. Once it's gone, it's gone for good. Since baking soda is a very basic substance, people usually make the assumption that it neutralizes or cancels out the acidity of the lemon juice making it safe to use on your teeth without the fear of damaging your enamel. However, as of this time of writing, there's no concrete evidence which suggests that baking soda fully balances out the natural acidity of the lemon juice. Even if it did cancel out the acid, we'd also have no way of knowing what sort of lemon juice to baking soda ratio you'd need in order to make sure the mixture was perfectly balanced. If you want to keep your teeth healthy and free from permanent damage, it might just be safer to use baking soda by itself, or even just avoid using this particular remedy altogether. In addition to whitening your teeth, many people also suggest that a mixture of baking soda and lemon juice can also help your skin by eliminating acne, reducing the appearance of wrinkles, or even fading scars. The general idea here is that the natural grittiness of the baking soda is supposed to work as an exfoliant, while the lemon juice is meant to clean and brighten your skin. But is there any objective evidence to support this? Well, if you've been paying attention this far, the answer probably won't surprise you. In addition to not having any proof that baking soda can help your skin, researchers also claim that baking soda may in fact be actively harmful to your precious epidermis. You may not have known this, but human skin actually clocks in somewhere between four and six on the pH scale, meaning that your skin does have a slight acidity to it. 
By coming into contact with a very basic substance such as baking soda, this collision of acids and bases can potentially alter the pH level of your skin, leading to unwanted complications such as irritation, dry skin, peeling skin, increased levels of acne, and before you ask, if you were wondering if the natural acidity of the lemon juice will help cancel out the basicness of the baking soda, the answer is the same as before. Not only has it not been proven to work, but even if it did, it would be extremely hard to get the proportions of each of the two ingredients just right. Don't bother trying to use lemon juice on its own either. While not actively harmful to your skin like baking soda, lemon juice doesn't offer much benefit as a skincare aid since its nutrients don't come in high enough concentrations to be absorbed by your skin directly. As much as we sometimes wish there were cheaper and more accessible solutions to products we normally have to buy at the drugstore, sometimes the unfortunate truth is that some of these home remedies and concoctions are sadly too good to be true. While baking soda on its own can help you cut down on plaque, mixing baking soda with lemon juice as a homemade toothpaste or skincare aid is much more likely to do harm than it is good. Sorry guys, but for now, it looks like if you want to get results, you'll probably want to stick to using the real thing. Here's a question we'd like to ask our loyal viewers today. For those of you who have experimented and tinkered around with home remedies of your own, what did you discover that did or didn't work for you? We're interested in hearing your anecdotes, experiences, and feedback on the subject. So be sure to let us know by leaving a comment in the comment section below and help us keep the conversation going. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.